Hey guys, it's me, Tom Flex here, back at you guys with another video. And today, I'm doing a comic book review. Not a comic book unboxing and review, but I'm doing a comic book review. The unboxing and reviews are my initial reviews, but these are like my full reviews. I'm doing this in the meantime because I'm saving up for more comic books so I can do more unboxings and reviews. In the meantime, we're going to be doing a review of The Avengers Kane Dynasty Omnibus. This was an amazing book. I'm gonna start my second reading of it. It took me a while to read it for the first time, but then I was gonna do a review on this, but um, it took me a bit because I was doing a bunch of other stuff and I was reading a bunch of other stuff, but I would love to do a review of this. And so here we are. With this book, it is essentially the biggest, one of the biggest Marvel stories ever told next to Avengers Infinity. And it is probably one of the best Avengers stories I've ever read, even though it's one of the few Avengers stories I've ever read. But I love it so much. It is really good. It goes very in-depth. It has a lot of side stories that I really love. Kane is a very interesting villain. They really did him justice in uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. You're an interesting man. Scott Lang. I love that movie, by the way. They really got him down to a T. I'm just really excited to see how they're going to proceed with Kane in the future after Quantumania. Maybe we're going to see him again in the Fantastic Four movie or in the Loki series. We're definitely probably going to see him in the Loki series, or at least other variants of Kane. I'm just excited to see what they'll do with him in the future. But to prep for the final Avengers of this... They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Not the final. The second to last Avengers movie in Phase 6 is Avengers The Kane Dynasty. I decided to prep for this two years in advance. Yeah, this is really cool. Um, and in the back, I love how you got um, the saga of the Scarlet Witch. So you've got uh, the first book, which is Vision of the Scarlet Witch, which is essentially a lot of what WandaVision is based upon. You have Avengers Disassembled, which is an article one. You have the House of M. I want to collect the House of M omnibus because that's the line where she says no more mutants. I am really excited to collect more of it. Um, <laughs> I'm just... I, I love the stereotypical trope of like over sexualization in comic books because it's it's so hilarious. I just love how it with Scarlet Witch it's just, it's just like exactly that. It's exactly that. I love it, but it's but it's funny for me. Man, it was a really good story, especially at this moment where Kane like fully conquers Earth and they're imprisoning a bunch of people, even superheroes, and they locked up Scarlet Witch and her former lover, and they fall in love again. Their name is Wonder Man, in case you were wondering. <laughs> Thank you, I'll be here all week! And they tell each other, no, forbidden love. We even get to see some history between uh, Captain Marvel and Scarlet Centurion. This Scarlet Centurion that we see in this book is a different Scarlet Centurion. We're getting a bring back of the Sentinels, which are which were essentially a uh, mutant deterrent, kind of like how Lex Luthor uses Kryptonite in Batman vs Superman as sort of a nuclear deterrent. Homeland security. Mm. No, 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 ma'am. Planetary security. And we've got uh, the Black Knight, who we got, who I'm hoping, for the love of God, gets a series or a movie. Kit Harrington play uh, Dane Women, who ends up becoming the Black Knight. Yeah, this ending is uh, very interesting. I'm not gonna go full deep into spoilers because I want you guys to try and like read this for yourselves and see how it goes for you. Kane Dynasty, art 10 out of 10. Perfectly amazing, very visual. It really gives a good aspect on what we're looking at. It's very cool. Story, 11 out of 10. It was a very intriguing story. It goes into side stories and how this affected the world. Coloring, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. But the coloring, yeah, I loved it. Um, yeah, I was just uh, uh, I was just basing off the cover, but yeah, inside it's a really great design and really great coloring. It's probably one of the greatest Avengers stories I've ever read. And I'm going to do a review of The Watchmen for next week. Hopefully that will do well because that was probably one of the best comic book stories I've ever read by far. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you never miss a video from me. Next week is going to be a review of The Watchmen. Excuse me. Oh, one thing I also forgot. My friend's YouTube channel is in the description still. And like always, please do subscribe to them. It would really help them out a lot. And really 
get, do some good. They don't have any YouTube videos. They have some playlists. But please subscribe to them. It would really help out their channel a lot. And just go support them. Thank everybody so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you, true believers, in the next video. Bye-bye.